All right, what is up, YouTube? HPJ here, and we are starting session four of Yu-Gi-Oh! Eternal Duelist Soul for the Game Boy Advance. In our last session, um, we we entered, um, oh, we were cleaning up some of, um, what is it? Of round two. Uh, of tier two, at the tier two of duelist, and we were taking them on. We defeated the Esperoba. Wait, why doesn't it say I beat these two five times? Hold on. Say state or load state. Because I know I beat Mako in Rex more than no, I didn't. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Well, I guess we're doing that today's session. So. We're gonna beat up Mako Tsunami. We're gonna take on Rex Raptor. And then we're gonna take on Weevil and my after. So yeah, if you're expecting to be anywhere today, uh, uh excuse me, don't. Mm. Okay. Mm. Or we have a sound with Mako, Rex, my and Weevil. So it's also funny enough that I just walked to a deck. That was based off of water monsters. Yeah, funny enough, we're used by Mako Tsunami. Uh, basically, Umi Control. Or uh, Umi Control got a massive update in 2022. Uh, shot full face down. Rising air current. Copy lady. Follow wind. Which is funny enough because I never I didn't order the um legacy the max the 25th anniversary edition of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that came out. Oh. So hot me. Bro. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. ah. But that ew. I fuck, mean, I have a monster. I gotta wait. I forgot. There's one thing make those does do. Cause um, that one is like just just make a whole bunch of fish. These are an aqua monster. I also give him some monsters that he normally doesn't have in his deck. One of them is that. Ew. I love her. I cherish her. She's goddess. She's queen. Uh, we didn't drop the aqua push. Um. It's like the cyber jar. But yes, yeah, that dark and I mean. mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. color Like white. What's the spread of us here? The fish in the face. The Legion. Fight five. Intro Burial, Happy Pet Dragon, Sujin, Bingin, and um, that's a Happy Dragon. Prima. Puppy lady. Ego. Oh, I think she's gonna make a good friend. Uh, that's actually gonna have one hypey lady sister. Great discard fighter, but likes you over when you can't do anything else. My opponent has Harpy's feather duster and sewage in the hand. Mm 
Yeah. Hope you planted us there. Prima, the dark and. It's sad, because if I ever get emotes, I have to pick between my queens. I don't want to pick between my queens, because I can't pick that dark. Uh, how do I do this? Okay, I want to set Witch of the Black Forest in my turn. I don't want to waste my reborn. Uh, Ooh, excuse me. But making Waco waste two, a thousand life points sounds funny. Uh, excuse me again. Uh, I'm gonna get blue. Wait. I'm gonna first call bird. Is it fake bird? Yeah, fake bird. I want to fuse. You go. Crimson bird. Faith bird and red salt. Ha! Our beef bed drag another few. Um. At least I still think. Now the greedy ass in me is saying go get Harpy Lady. But the smart ass in me is saying no, go get the go get your opponent's seven color fish. Come on, you dragon. Luckily enough, I'm not playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Stairway. I mean, yeah, worldwide stairway to destined duel. Uh, cause fun fact, you can stairway with destined duel and Mako has turned it uh before Rocky Torrential. And I think my fusion monster actually would have been torrential. No, because I can just monster reborn it because it was probably such and such. Right, thanks, Mako. Uh, silly thing. So I believe this package is gonna hold like little foster monsters here and there. Crow Goblin! Hey, okay, Dick. Crow Goblin, level 5. When attributes when you beast type monster, 1850 attack 16, and get the fifth. A clever long nosed goblin. When in when when it is forced to it is a force he is a force to be magical hat level three light attributes broadcast this type monster one thousand attacks and hundred defense when this card inflicts damage to your opponent's life points this card uh, one card may be discarded randomly from your opponent's hand uh, the rework to this is when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent uh, randomly select one card from your opponent's hand and send it to the graveyard. Uh, Acid Crawler, level 3, Earth Attribute, Insect Type Monster, 900 Attack, 700 Defense. A giant a giant caterpillar that secretes an acid mist that melts anything. Mystical Ghost, level 4, Dark Attribute, Zombie Type Monster, 4 1300 Attack, 1400 Defense. When this creature casts a spell of terror and confusion, just before attacking to Code Master, level 3. Water Attribute Aqua Type Monster with 1000 attack, 1000 defense. A Hermit Frog that has been in X. X since for thousands of years. It attacks with tadpoles. Fun fact in the Yu Gi Oh! Sacred Cards, um, this monster is in the game, but it's an effect monster. And funny enough, it's effect is that it summons Frog the Jam. I'm not even joking. It's effect is to summon Frog the Jam. Which, fun fact, uh, Frog the Jam had its name reworded and changed because it's now called uh, Slime, Slime Toad or sl yeah, Slime Toad. Uh, frog the Jam has nothing to do with the Frog card type, and older Frog card types exclude Frog the Jam uh, because of it. Then, when Frog the Jam became part of, I think it was one of the tournament packs? No, one of the, uh, yeah, one of the Astro packs or tournament packs or turbo packs, whichever one of those, um, like mid to mid 2010s, uh, Frog the Jam did come out, but they rechanged it to Slime, the Slime Frog to avoid confusion. And I think also <clears throat> a whole bunch of other frog stuff was getting pretty, yeah, because that's when Totally Awesome was coming out. So they had to fix all that. Alright, so with that said, that was that pack. Oh, it's tournament day. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, and our opponent is 
Oh, it's this crab. Looks you get. Alright. Oh, music is playing in the background. Um, hold on one second, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just pause it. So you guys can hear this music. I don't know if anybody's in the chat that wants to hear the music from the from the from the DRL player, let me know. I'll play it. Uh Pot of Green. Cost me two parts. Ooh, octopus. I think I have two harpies. Yeah, I have two harpies. I'm gonna summon Mr. Tomato in attack mode. And I can. Mystic Tomato attack the monster. Oh, it's Beaver Warrior. Oh no. I'll play the Aqua Course. Oh, fun fact, there's a new course card that just came out. Um, they search just for cards. It's okay. I guess I think groundbreaking. Oh, another South Pole. Go, no, Harpy Lady. I should say, Sa Harpy Lady. Harpy Lady, the monster, the plug it. Ah, uh, it's it. Ooh, it's here. We stick tomato attack. I lose it. I will, I will fuck you up. You really give me some more I'm about to fuck you up. Oh, I'm about to fuck you up. Prima. See you later, dude. Who is Play it. Play it. Mm. On the hint that it's something weak. Oh, it's not weak. Oh, it's Mystic Elf. Oh, we Elf. But she's not in the Japanese. But she's not no Mystic Elf here. She's on this Holy Elf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Magic Grandma. Well, I mean, anyway. Blue Wings Crab is happy. Happy Lady, that's such good. Oh, you know what? I give. I just went off. Mr. Elf is down. Aqua push. 
chapel. Something like that. Ah. Oh, but the apple, of course. L.M. Oh, yeah, I do have some for that. Chapel. And Mystic Lamp. Uh, attack, can attack a player directly. Excuse me. Mystic Tomato. <laughs> Treasure of the Angel. That just draws in the fucking ball. Um, I would go get Jinzo. The problem is that if I go get Jinzo, the gate Jinzo will negate my aqua force, and my harpy lady won't have any attack. So I want to go get Black Fighter instead. Um. Na, 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 na. I know. Na, 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 Fiend type monster. This is attack that becomes a prince. An monster created from a major accident in an underground black. Killer Needle, level 4. Which actually is insect type monster with 1200 attack? Went out to defense. A huge bug with an anticipating strength that particularly dangerous in swarms. Oguchi. Level 1, Wire Attribute Aquatide Monster with 300 attack, 250 defense. Uh, it's a monster that can attack everyone who likes me correctly. And Snake Dashi, uh, which we have in our deck. Just, so, I'm going to have to go with him. Oh, Dark Shade, Level 3, Wind Attribute Fiend Type Monster, 1000 attack, 1000 defense. A crystal monster that unleashes a Brilliant light to blind enemy. Damn, Yugi, you're not bad in zero. You're bad in zero against me, buddy. All right, let me go choose the first. Hmm. Oh, that right. T set. Let's do what you do. I want your monster. Oh, I don't want to do that. Wait, what? I'll set Magic Jammer. I'll set Octopus. I'll set Capole. Oh. We're going to set Cyber John. And end our turn. Loving this. Trap hole. Awesome. I can say he draws his monster that has the same name. I jump down with the apple course. Cyber Jar. Wait. wait. First is white. 
Penguin soldier. I'm free. Penguin soldier. Oh, fuck. Three again. Black Pendant. Harpy Lady Sister. Blue Skull Bird. A Red Skull Bird. Polarization. Seven Colored Fish. Oh, the Aqua Forces. Right, get you. Okay, <laughs> let's get this out of the way right here. The Aqua Course. Singin. Which fun fact? Singin and Japanese means critter. Blue Summon Critter. And my bony hair regeki. You think I could I didn't equip critter with black penny. But however, I'll give up black penny if it means I get to protect my monster. I play magic gem. Red Archer Girl. That's some other monster I'm considering to put in the deck too, because she's female, she's level 4, she's water. Well, actually, that can fix the whole thing. So I forced to push the Sinister Serpent, or do I go get the Flying Comic here? I don't know. Okay. Ooh, my opponent's had a I wonder what it could be. Flying Kamikiri. I bet. And shit backfires on you. Uh, I have to put that in the Oh, Faith Bird. Are that polymerization in my. I don't know, I'm stupid. Oh, I do have it. There it goes. Polymerization. Crimson Skull. I mean, Crimson Sunburn. Crimson Sunburn. Prima. Dingin. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. I get the seven color fish. Harpy's pet dragon. Harpy lady. Battle. Crimson sunbird attacks seven colored fish. Bitch. Really? Mirror Force? Uh. Harpy's Feather Duster. Fuck you. Mirror. Mystic Meta. At least I can kill the archery girl. Mystic to me. Witch of the Black Forest. Komori no Wichi. Or Japanese. Trying to get a monster from my deck so I can deal with this giant lizard. What is giant fish? Uh, I just talk all this shit and just, I can't kill the giant. Uh, we'll go get magician effect. Or you can get Prima and Prima can bring back Prime. Uh, and we can stall with swords. Unless my opponent wants to play fucking MST. Archie! 
change of heart and then play their own swords. Uh, now this is actually not longer. But my alchemy is done. I didn't do that. Uh -oh. What? Oh, really? Why? Why do you hurt Silligen again? Not agreed. Rising air current. I don't think that ain't kind of this is Lumi. Kill the archery girl. Gens will attack the red archery. Luckily, Suja's attack can't stop that because I'm not swinging at Suja. That's that can. Star boy. If I were Geki, I'll be... Okay, no. Oh, I thought he did change the heart and kill my monster. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about it. You know, I'm only gonna have like pretty ginger. The Dark Elf! I don't want to show the Dark Elf. Religion. Heavy storm. There's a light. Which is well though. Out of three. We go. Aqua course. Harpy lady. Magic jammer. Change of heart. Oh, that's it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, this one. What did I hit? Mirror Force! Okay, well that's actually good here. Um... Tribute. Genza. The dump of Let's stop. Battle phase. Hard be lady yet. Genzo attack. Is there a way to stop Genzo? Uh, 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 what was it? There's a card that can stop Genzo. Um, Genzo summon can be gate by a. Was Solemn Judgment. But you're willing to pay out the life point. Huh. I can free. I get you. Oh, I could just shoot. Okay. okay. I still win anyway. Blue Wing Crown.
Can I? Ranger is not okay. Barrel, damn. Level 4, Dark Attribute, Fiend Type Monster, 1300 Attack, 1400 Defense, a playful little fiend that lurks in the dark and willing to attack with unwanted enemies. Our magic hat, we've already talked about Warbler Moth, we've already talked about um, Rainbow Flower, Level 2, Earth Attribute, Plant Type Monster with 400 Attack, 500 Defense. This monster can attack your opponent's life points directly. Armored Rack, Level 3. Earth attribute beast type monster with 950 attack and uh and 1100 defense. The fur on this monster rat is tough enough to repel a repel sword. So now we need Mako. Uh, who we want to do next? Weevil, Rex, or Mai? Well, I'm gonna say Mai for last. We're gonna take on Weevil. Uh, I want to get the shit out of the way before I do all the bullshit. Because Weevil's deck is just full of plants, so... I mean, insects, so we really just have to worry about what bullshit she's going to try to... undermine shit, but... Gemini L. I forgot he plays that in it's not an uncanny monster, yeah, but it's just a kind of like three little point. I'm gonna blow her up, Raigeki. It's funny because no, this is not a waste of Raigeki, it's just I don't want to play it safe. Uh, Grateful Charity. Monster Reborn Gemini Graceful Charity And a Monster Beast oh. Alright, I'm at you Out of Greed Lords of Revealing Light Needle worm. Oh, that's not anything I want to run. Needle worm. Level two. Earth attribute insect type monster. 750 attacks and 20 defense. Effect. Flip. Discard five cards from the top of from your from the top of your opponent's deck to his or her graveyard. That's it. The top of your cards your opponent's deck to the graveyard. One, two, three, five. So. Monster Reborn, Polymerization, Magician of Faith, Harvey Lady, and Blind Comic Carry number one. Ooh, look at this. There goes one Harvey Lady, and I already looked down his sisters. Um, Rising Air Current. Where are the options? Is there another man here? Oh, it's not a giant rat. Cyber Jot. Hmm. 
Tangent Heart, Elegant Egotist, Genzel, Mystic Tomato in attack mode, Seven Color Fish in attack mode, Mirror Forest, Parasite Paradise, Parasite Paradise, um, Fine Commentary number two, Giant Rat, so, oh, and a Witch Forest. Flip the apple. Gemini L. Change of heart. Skip this. And then trivia for Jimbo. Prima. Ego. Harpy Lane. One of these is Mystic, uh, so this one here, you, a giant rat. Burky V. Harvey Lady can kill Burky V. I do not want Harvey Lady to do damage. That's cool. uh, either way, I'd still knocking out monster. Um, Harvey Lady will attack the flying comic here, you know. Harvey Lady will attack the Parasite Paradise. Parasite Parasite. Which, because she destroyed it by battle, it can't get it. Genzo. The other problem here is I know I'm about to lose one of my Harvey Lady Gemini. The Dark Elf. Okay. And that's Mirror Force. It's Skullbird. Genzo attack. The Dark L. Oh yeah, even he's rocking Dark L. Yeah, these are crazy high question monsters. I think it's mainly because there aren't any big insects and stuff yet till later games where it'd be understandable for Weevil and Mako to run in them. But actually, Mako has no excuse. There's at least two level seven, I mean two level four water attributed I mean, fish type monsters he can play. We have two new monsters. Um, the thing that hides in the mud. Level 4. Earth attribute rock type monster. 1200 attack, 1300 defense. This monster melts in, melts its way underground, attacking enemies from below. Kyo, level 3. Water attribute warrior type monster. 800 attack and 1200 defense. No, none can survive the cold touch of this Sub-Zero War. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Magazine was delivered today. The five parts of can be obtained from this are Polarization, Dragon's Treasure, Sword of Destruction, Being Kraken, and Weather Control. Wine comic here on the card number The Trap Hole is your destiny. Stop. 
Jammer. I'll counter that new tool of the bandit. Uh, where was I? A uh, faith bird attack. Destroy Gurkidi. Oh, yeah, and when happened, um, Mantis, uh, Empress Mantis, the world championship. Yeah, um, Weevil, uh, second in command of his insect army, is the hell if he's some- Ooh, no, no, no magic, no, no, I agree. No, magic jam. You want cards? You gotta get them like the rest of them. Yeah, draw them or one. Uh, yes, return Sinister Serpent. Uh, change of cards, shall we? Is this a man-eater bot? No, it's a needle worm. Even better. I uh, it still some your cards getting me. Out of three. Okay, Graceful Charity, Gemini Health, Forest, Cyber Jar. Oh, and Giant Rat. I, yeah, they do start running. More invasive monsters. Cyber Jar just start fucking with you because you know they know their opponent has. Them. Also, I mean, like, everything at this point is still there. In addition to what your deck already attributes itself to, first you're gonna start playing monsters and stuff that you don't attribute to it, but are just staple. Oh, yes, have your needle one swing into my beautiful one. Um, uh, and yeah. Uh, temperature is dropped. Oh, 79 degrees. It's supposed to rain later next week. Huh. I wonder exactly how that's gonna affect the outcome. The Witch of the Black Forest. Marino Lichin. Gaientoretto. Gaientoretto. Dingin. Ah, really, dude? Ah, really, dude? My cat got something. Ah, really, dude? Something she might. Tell me, y'all. Ah, really, dude? Something. That's your only art. Wow. No, I still don't feel that bad. Holy fuck, you really like you from coming with the bat? Alright. Oh, of course. You're gonna attack the mystic elf and fucking moron. Uh. <sighs> The chances of this being a man-eater bug are high. Oh, it's not, it's Witch. 
Oh, I win. I like testing waters. Oh, you know what I should do? Speaking of water, I just thought about it. After this, I'm gonna go be playing. I'm gonna play Pokemon. Uh, anything here? Uh, Arm Zombie. A level 3 Dark Attribute Warrior. Uh, Dark Attribute Zombie Type Monster. 1500 attack, 0 defense. Uh, this warrior blindly spawns a deadly blade with, with a devastating force. Um, yeah. Uh, wing, yeah, Wing Egg Elf. Level 3, Light Attribute Fairy Type Monster, 500 attack, 1300 defense. This fairy is an, this fairy is an egg shell used. This is massive wings to blow back almost any projectile attack. Soul Release, Spell Card, Effect. Select 5 cards from either player's graveyard and banish them from the game. From the graveyard. Uh, cause yeah, her name get her effect, sorry, gets changed throughout the series. I mean, well, in terms of the text itself, the phrase remove from the current duel gets changed from remove from play, and then it changes to remove, uh, from the grave, banish from the graveyard. The release also has artwork changes as the, um, entity that is in Soul Release's artwork. Um, she is naked in the OCG. Hence the fact that I believe she's supposed to be some type of deity um, or some type of spiritual creature and nudity in Japan. It's not treated how we treat nudity here or you know sex. Nudity for the Japanese interns can be purity. And maybe this is a like pure spirit. And she's relieving the soul of the egg. Um, the other card I want to talk about was Wing, was Wing Egg Elf. So this monster gets a ton of monsters um, around it. Primarily, it's ooh, one of its upgraded forms is based is surrounded by the Cyber Angel, where the Cyber Egg Angel, uh, actually a monster who helps support that archetype, I believe, by retrieving a virtual spell. And adding them there. Yeah. Uh, he does have an upgraded tribute summon monster with like 1100 attack and 2k defense. Uh, I think called Ancient Egg. But I don't think we'll see that monster for me. Uh, don't worry, I think we have uh, two more duels with, with Bug Boy. Yeah, Weevil would be the Bug Caster in the Pokemon suit. No, he'd be, yeah, he'd be Bug Caster. What type of bug would we will have? Um, by Gen 1 standard, because we'll play this in Gen 1. No, we don't even really play this in Gen 2. What Pokemon would we will have? Oh, you're in a. Oh, you're in a. That's a Miss from Air Force. Um, what would we equate for Weevil Underwood in terms of. Okay. I think we would have Pinter. That's you know, standard bug. I think we would also equate him to Scyther. Venomoth. And one. Uh, which means that creepy, scary combo there. Uh, Beedrill, Butterfree, just because you know, typical bugs. And Parasect. Of course. Oh, was that your spot? No, that was a mystical type type school. Wow, you can get to play the Python. Thirsty? Okay. But, um, yeah. Those are what I would put with, um, for him. Now, we included some Generation 2 by, um, Ariados and Heracross would definitely be some upgrades. Uh, Scyther would become Scizor. He would probably still be rocking both um, better free and no, he probably switch out uh, Parasect for uh, let's see, cause yeah, we swap out Parasect for Heracross. We'd swap out no Scissor would be Scyther would evolve into Scissor. We would give him in exchange for Butterfree. 
so excuse me, which I think is the better of the two. Uh, and I want to train my and get him back. Oh my two. Fire hand. Oh, winged beast. Never mind. They ain't gonna attack me. Yeah, no. We need a winged. I'll say two. I don't know. We, we could have. No, because then I stuck it. Okay, well, whatever comes up. I mean, we have giant hunter. But, um. Yeah, so what did I say for Weasel in the first? Minimum, better free, B drill. Parasite Pinsir and um Parasite Pinsir. Uh, Why well, lose this match? But I don't know three though. Jesus. Uh, That can be sufficient anymore. So, yeah, we were in the modern IC. Uh, what was we get? Um, that's the queen to apply to his insect. Uh, Scizor RD. Cypher's evolution from his Sicily region. I forget what the name of his pod is. It's called Proxor. A boxer? Uh, yeah, it's a bad bug. Uh, <laughs> that's how we're going to be hurt. Uh, I'm gonna make an ugly bug. Well, this thing, too, is like the bug's not gonna be ugly because we can give him Venomoth. And that can reflect his, um, his Great Moth and it's perfectly awesome. But I mean, that's the case, let it free. What if we have to get that thing? A pretty sick to get them. Um. Oh, what's that fire insect? Uh. Oh, we can even do that. We can give him. Um. Volcarona. We have we have a Volcarona. The Volcarona is fire bug. Um. It's a big ass maw, and that can reflect his giant maw. Um. Or his person we also the group. Uh, that's the cool as you can be there. I see it. Genzai. Then you answer the circuit. Uh, yeah. I just think it's just like um just a mom. And I would be give him one and if he wants to get to that, then so it should get like better fruit. So to do this is um it's practically also a great moth and great moth. That's the queen to reflect his insect queen. Um and he has Spider is still going to evolution line. Anything inside through the evolution is a Voxel. Voxel? Voxel? Or Zoxel? I don't know what I'm talking about. The theme that looks like a giant match is it. Um, definitely a, a good addition. I'm actually going to get Flying Comic Care. classic tournament. I'm shocked he doesn't play Flying Comic Care. It's insect. That's good option. Yeah, I have to score. Um... Wait, good buzz in Gen 8? Wait, in Gen 8? Buzz in Gen 8 is just Gen 8. It's like that one that looks like a common arter. And then there's the one that's the tarantula.
Give me one of those, okay. Oh, one thousand giant hat. Okay. 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 Jackie, we should have for it. Some false is not in the I think that comes with it. Stories of revealing one. I got a dog. Good force. Flip my cyber jaw. Happy lady. Are we better than that? Change of heart. Faith bird. A decky. Needle worm. Get a black quarter. Fan eater butt. Gemini. Insect queen. Dark Elf. Oh, creature that dwells in the forest at Elf. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, okay, that all makes sense. Why the Elf are. So what's scarier than a... What's scarier than a giant butt? A uh, troll. Follow him in. I feel it. Harpy's feather, that's sir. Okay, well it doesn't matter, I have enough points in the game. Space Bird attack. Harvey Lady attack. All of Dark. I don't know, I did just like... Call of the Dark. Call of the Dark. Continuous track bar. All monsters restored with Monster Reborn are sent to the graveyard. Monster Reborn also cannot be played as long as this card remains face up on the field. There was one of two counters to Monster Reborn. The other one was Call of the Grave, which is if Monster Reborn was activated, negate the activation of the effect and such a summon a monster from your graveyard. Light Ghoulo, level 1, first action, insect type monster, 300 attack and 3500 def 350 defense. This monster can attack your opponent's life points directly. Uh, this is a monster in Weasel's deck. Uh, not in this game, but in the anime and in later games, uh, he does use Light Ghoulo. But I think he also switches out Light Ghoulo later on in that case for a bigger, better insect. Or just support cards, so. Alright. And with that done, no, 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 no. There's one more duel with Weevil, and then we are done. I want to summon the Faith, the Bob. I mean, the Red Skull, Bob. Name my turn. The Dark L. He lives. He rises once again <clears throat> to cause mayhem. Change of heart. The control of the dock now. Then tribute her for some skull. I 
I attacked with my ferocious thing. Makorai. Which means lightning strike. I don't know why that was so whatever. Um Ma oh Monster Reborn the Doc Hey. But you don't run tribute. Yeah, I was gonna say you don't run any tribute. At least not anything level one. Uh swords are revealing light. Look you be. Faith bird in attack mode. Faith bird attack for key. Summon skull destroys that dock. Ow. Don't worry, we'll get our own dark house. I'll search for dark house. Ah, oh, another face note. Graceful charity. Uh, Harvey's pet is... Let me tell me finish. Uh, I won't summon anything yet because I don't know what that face note card is. And I kind of want to play it safe. Cyber, I'm glad I did play it safe. Cyber Jar. Those you people were sneaky. Sadly, I don't think I can put Nobleman. No, I can't put Nobleman of Cross out and Nobleman of Extermination because they were in the game at the time. It's. No, I wanted to put you in defense mode. Oh, and both of my monsters are dark. Flying Comic Curie. Okay, so let's have Komori Dragon destroy Flying Comic Curie. And then Cyber Jar will attack. Man Eater Bug. Of course, they're gonna go for the first two. Oh. Main phase two. Um. Oh, I wanna save that. I'll end my turn. Angel Pot. Insect Queen? Oh yeah, I'm into that queen. Trap pole. But why didn't you tribute my monster? Your monster is still perfectly able to be coming. Oh well, not my problem. Harvey Lady. Magician of Faith. Graceful Charity. Graceful Charity. Saving myself the constant A presses. Out of greed. Prima. Act. Magician Faith Attack, Komori Dragon Attack, Cyber Jar Attack, Harpy Lady Attack, Harpy's Pet Dragon Attack. Uh, I believe that's five now. Yep, that's five. Great. He's double and he doesn't. Oh, he... Eba Robo. Eba Robo, level four. Dark Ashu machine type monster. 1000 attack, 1300 defense. A cubicle enemy, a cubicle machine equipped with a cutting, equipped with cutting blades for shearing enemies into mincemeat. And yeah, that's five on the level. All right, Rex, you're up. Time to beat down the dinos. Until the bandit magic. 
Halloween, great security, Jinza, and how to use Tesla. Jinza. And let's set them. Huh, crawling dragon number two. Thingin. Thingin. Let's be pretty petty. Cyber Jai. And I think at this point you only run one Cyber Jai. Uh, no, we do not have to expect any back as making an appearance here, uh, with we with Rag. Uh, Giant Soldier Stone, Wasteland, Change of Heart, Witch of the Black Forest, and Yurabi. Sinister Serpent, who I was gonna search for anyway, in the first Um, Polarization, Magician, oh, Mystic Elf, Turn Defense. Ooh, Ace Bird and Attack Mode. Not punish witch. Summon spell. Oh yes, right. You do rank summon spell. I believe my opponent. I believe Rex only runs it because of the fact that um they tried to do the whole black skull dragon thing with him, and it just didn't work. Um, but possibilities. That battle's dead. Um, let's say try pull. Let's summon seven colored fish. And yeah, let's start swinging that thing. Um, seven colored fish attack your Arby. Faith bird destroys the giant soldier of down. And we left Witch, but we can counter stuff, so. Yeah, Summon Skull. Wait. Oh, here, yeah, I forgot. Because her effect goes off. <laughs> I thought her effect. Oh, because it doesn't miss time. Alright. Excuse me again, I'm sorry. Ugh. I dropped that sprite in. Supposed to be my best. Alright. Um, Black Pendant equipped the Great One. Battle Pack. Great One. Faith Bird Attack. Seven colored fish attack. Right. Right, Jackie. Magic jammer. Play slam. Harpy's Feather Duster! Follow Wind! Doors of Light! Magician of Faith. Oh, uh, well, the duel's over anyway, because. Which Mystic Elf to attack? Flying Kamikiri. Mystic Elf Attack. And... Wait for a game.
Oh, then I have a change of part of Mr. Web of Black Juggler. You can destroy two monsters with an attack of 1,000 or less by triggering this card on the field face up during your stamina phase. There's never going to be an occasion where that happens. That's literally some monster that was made for older Yu Gi Oh! And I wish I was joking, but I'm actually going to be serious. When there weren't like 1900, 1800 pieces like that, they were using a lot of low level monsters. So, stuff like Blast Juggler, specifically, actually, the monster that you go to for stuff. I mean, that is of seven full of bandit and magic. Harpy lady attack. Oh shit, the giant stuff. I'm gonna quit my queen with black panda. Watch my summon dark elf. Bye, Geki. Monster Reborn. Is it a double tribute? Serpent Night Dragon? Great Fly. I mean, actually, that wouldn't be Great Fly. It's still like. Uh, Sangan attacks Sinister Serpent. And Harvey Lady attacks the Pig. Magician of Oh, well. Black Cavern in the field, right, guys? I just did all that for nothing. Giant soldier of stone. Why would you seek both of them to attack me? You could have kept one in defense, one with the other, right gank you, and it did 2600 points a day. Um for backup badger, I'm gonna get the blade fly because my brother wants to be that bad. Blue Wing Crown. So I'm not gonna waste my change of heart because I'm not stupid. I must get it for I will be watching tomorrow. Hot of Greed. The Geki. Uh, Black Pendant. Crawling Dragon. Monster Reborn. Harpy Lady. Great Flop. Harpy Lady attack. Great one attack. A dragon bomb. I'm still in board. I'm kind of curious. Fallen Dragon. <laughs> we take each other out. 
Oh my god, I just I got tried that one. Fuck it though. Lady attack. Diamond Skull attack. a monster in attack mode that had less attack than my monster. And I swung, so... Oh, the follow one. I was guest fan. I did lose 200. No, I've been at nine. So. Ah, right, hell of a time. Uh, yeah, try pull. Is stupid enough to blow up my monsters. I don't. 
plane. Trap. A normal spell. <laughs> destroy one monster. Uh, destroy one of your opponent's monsters with the lowest attack. Uh, this card and its counterpart, Smashing Ground, which destroys the monster on your opponent's side with the highest defense. Um, get a monster to search for. Funny enough, you wouldn't believe it. It's a retread of Mana Core Darkness. Hmm. Um, I believe the card is a searcher for Fissure or Smashing Ground. Well, I got another follow win. Another poly and a silver bow and arrow. Let me fit right here. Alright, one more duel with Rex. And then we can move on to my. Alright, sweet. Balance. How to follow the pieces. How to do it. Let's go, sister. Uh, Dragon... Genza. Set Chop Hole. Play Prima. Play Dragon. Carpy Lady. And we put Chela Follow. Oh, and black candy because I don't trust my. MST. Uh. Start home. <laughs> Excuse me. Problem yard number two, trap hole. Fire Dragon. The Jar. Dracodon. Out of three. Falling Dragon. And Dragon Zone. Nine Soldier of Stone. Your RB. Witch of the Black Forest. Apple. Flying Comic Carry number one. Magic Jammer, out of three. Well, I'm going to go get... Well, they're going to come out with Harvest. I'm going to go get Faithful. I got my two number one. Play fly. The sad one, that was my resource to ability. Uh, pot of grief. Okay, I live by a thousand. Oh, I live by nine hundred. Okay. Personal 
pleasure villain. Rising air current. The little side hurts the blue wing crown. The white soldier is in white. What are these damage trying to- Oh, magic jammer. Oh, I'm like, why is Lips trying to trigger itself to do? Um... Ace bear. Kill the crawling dragon. I mean the dragon zombie. So that way at least I know the other cards are trying to- I can negate them. Oh yeah, I can't negate it because it's... Not a creep. Your way. A Geki counter. <laughs> no, I wanted to counter that. Oh, Sword Arm Dragon. Uh, yes. Um, Monster Reborn. Uh, Harpy Pet Dragon. Red Skull Bird. Well, look, there's the poly I was waiting for earlier. Fall bird attack. Where's my phone? Oh, it's too late now. Harvey Lady, wait. Hey, you lost five times, right? That was everybody. Ah, uh, new monster! We have the Rose Spectrum of Din. Uh, level 6. Dark Attribute Plant Time Monster. 2000 attack, 1800 defense. Uh, requires one Feral Imp and one Snake. Yeah, uh, Yashi. Um, funny enough, she didn't come out till like early 2022. And a special side, what was it? Those from the past too? Yeah. So it took her that long for a print of her to actually come to the TCG. Um, Yu Gi Oh! Manga. Yu Gi Oh! Magazine. What do we got in here? This little special stuff. Super Warrior, Wasteland, Marath Graveyard, Mushroom Man. Alright, and the only other deal left is Miss Valentine. Before we take my on, um, one, I need to turn my fucking light off so I can see this bitch. <laughs> the second. <laughs> Yeah, is that I'm going to add some more cards to my pool. One of them needs to be Harpy's brother, aka formerly known as Sky Scout. Because... Oh, not card trick. Password. Um... Cause I need another, I need more high level monsters to help me kick shit's ass. Nine, zero.
I don't think Birdface was out yet. No, Birdface. Okay. At least one decent of our children for a winged beast. That. Oh, there is Peacock. Oh, and Dune is that glitch. She won't be affected by the negative effects of that. Dune is that glitch. I don't think she's in here. I hadn't already heard of her code, but I know Gemini did already get my trunk. He's not, I wanna go. Get up and go at him. And that's Peacock. Fucking hot in my room. That's Peacock. Or you do what I normally do, they just take everything out. Uh, yeah, that works. Now I know what's in here, listen. But I should only have one fusion monster in my fusion deck, and that's Blue Wing Crown. Uh, I have another Harpy Lady? Oh, I need to see about that, because I didn't know I had another Harpy Lady in the deck. Why did I just mistaken Harpy Lady for another fire? It's not in here, that, that is true, and it is possible. I can mistake a Harpy Lady for another monster. I'm not full of Harpy Ladies. Oh, let's follow with. <laughs> I do have a job, Ryan. Oh. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. How many palm religions did I pull? Oh, a lot, because I just remembered. Ollie is in that, that stupid thing, that magazine. Oh, I 
Do you want to give it poly? Yeah. Let's go ahead. Poly. Listen, I love the combo to get me to a big ass monster. And there's also just the issue of that. <coughs> Not enough monsters in here. Of course. Oh, I got a fighter too. And that's how I get fusion search. Uh, I'm gonna do a fusion drop a follow away. Hi. Get a poly in the main. There you go. Alright, and now we should take on the only tier 2 duelist I have in Silk Run again. My queen, the lovely Ms. Val. Are you a treat for my heart, you ladies? How am I supposed to answer that? I'm going to be... <clears throat> if the word sip was just written on my forehead. All right, uh, we're back with Miss Valentine. Alright, so let's knock out on the Harpy trivia. Uh, Ms. Valentine will not summon Harpy Lady Sisters as this game is a poem to that think that because they're a tribute to the monster, he's supposed to tribute for them. Hey, I think it's I didn't expect that. Um. Alright, well. Oh, well, why she won't play Harpy Lady Sisters, we won't play Harpy. Elegant Egotist. Harpy Lady Sisters. Which I don't know which pack in the game is gonna have Harpy Lady Sister, but I would have ran into them by now. Oh, I don't know what this first monster is, so I'm taking it. Oh, it's Kana. Okay, we didn't lose out on it. Yeah, because my deck in this game is very female oriented. Um, it's rocking Red Archery Girls. Let's watch Red Archery Girls, Harpy Lady, Harpy Lady Sisters, Harpy Pet Dragon. It's got a ton of birds, like, um, Blue Wing Crown, um, Blue Wing Crown, uh, Seven Coat, not Seven Coat, Blue Wing Crown, Faith Bird, Red Skull Bird, um, it is also rocking, was that monster, Empress of the Throne? 
Uh, yeah, like I said, a lot of female monsters. Uh, Red Arch Big Girl. Um, oh, I win. That only took five turns. Damn, that wasn't supposed to take that long. Well, there's two, two more, three more duels after this, so. Alright. Yes, you did, my queen. You lost. Yeah, I don't know which one of these is gonna have Farfield. And I've been pulling like hell. Uh, Don Kilo the Cure Master. Uh, increase your life points by 1,000. Um, she's a very naughty woman in the OCD version. Um, ancient plant, known as ancient pumped in the OCG. Level 1 attribute rock type monster, 400 attack, 200 defense. A very fragile jar that contains something ancient and dangerous. It's the monster that begins the pop series. Sadly enough, um, I believe that monster has not been printed yet. Well, well, are we the spirit spirited? Again, I would be delighted. Obviously, you have yet to grasp the full, to fully grasp the destruction power, destructive power of my deck. Well, my unfortunately, your deck doesn't get too more destructive till you start getting more harpy monsters in the archetype. Which, as a now in this game, you only have Harpy Lady, Harpy Lady Sisters, Harpy's Pet Dragon, Harpy's Feather Duster, Cyber Shield, and Elegant Eagle. So. Sadly, my queen, you're not batting for two. You're not getting too much yet. We would include Harpy's brother, but he's technically not a Harpy lady, so... Yeah... Like I said, she's rocking birdie, she's rocking Harpy, she's rocking pretty ladies, and she's just doing it with elegance and great. I'm actually quite surprised that they didn't get for polymerization, but then you also have to win Fusion Sage, and there's no Harpy Fusion Monster, but there are birds that did defuse to make other birds. Um, I think the only high level tribute monster she has in her archetype, I mean her deck, is Harpy's Pet Dragon. Which she needs to tribute two monsters and spoil it to play. Oh, right, Gekki, that's actually a smart move. They don't know. Red Archery Girl. Yeah, and then she's running uh, Archery Girl, Witch of the Black Forest, Kana the Sword Mistress. Um, what else is running? Oh, Invader of the Throne. Yeah, that was a weird one for me too to see, Invader of the Throne. But I believe the reason why Invader of the Throne and them are here is because female monsters. Um, <laughs> and Invader of the Throne is also like a pot of... Um, it's also like a pot of Avers. I mean, a change of heart, so... That's also why she's here. I'm gonna play my summons. And I'm gonna summon my, uh, ancient... My, uh, Gemini Elf. In later games, uh, Mai is more of a threat, though, because if you just leave a Harpy Lady on the field, um, she will play Elegant and get to it. She will not hesitate, and she'll summon her. Uh, I should know this, because in the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2004, uh, no, 2005. No, no, in 4. It starts in 4. She will play Harpy Laces. Actually, Worldwide Duelist, she'll start playing Harpy Laces. Um, when the field. Her deck gets more aggressive with Winged Beast. She will play, uh, Harpy's Brother. She'll play Cyber Harpy Lady. She won't play regular Harpy. No, no, no. She will play Cyber Harpy. Um, because it is stronger variant of Harpy Lady. And actually, Worldwide Edition is where Cyber Harpy Lady makes her debut. No, battle. I I could have sworn I swung at her archery. The Gemini Elf. There you go. I think that's also the reason why, too, is that this build, these builds are going to go a lot faster. Um, just because I have more monsters that I can use. Oh. Another pack. Oh, Gorizius. Uh, Water Magician. Oh, Seeking of Fusion Sage. There it is. Uh, let's start from the bottom to the top. Water Magician, level 4. Water Attribute Aqua Type Monster. 1400 Attack, 1000 Defense. This monster swamps its opponent with almost an endless supply of water. Uh, Lord of the Lamp, level 4. Dark Attribute Fiend Type Monster. 1400 Attack, 1200 Defense. A giant that appears from a mystic lamp. 
and follows the order of the lamp's owner. Um, I believe in the card game, I think he is summoned through the effects of a lamp, similar to how Le Jin is summoned through the ancient lamp. Ancient lamp and the mystic gen mystical gene. Um, I think it's mystic lamp that summons it. If not, it's just a regular old female monster that just wants to look yoked up. Um, mystic sand, level six. Uh, Earth attribute rock type monster, 2100 attack, 1700 defense. Uh, requires one giant soldier of stone and one ancient elf. Fun fact about this monster, she had two releases in the, OC in the TCG while she was already in the OCG. Um, her first print was in Astro Pack because they wanted to start giving us these fusion monsters that you would benefit from using cards like um, Instant Fusion. Uh, because let's be real, no one's going to play polymerization to summon a fusion monster like this. They're going to be trying to polymerization for other fusion monsters with a lot more back from EP. Um, hold on one sec. No, I'm just getting like a whole bunch of. I don't know what this is, and I'm not up to. Okay. So. Oh. All right. Um. Yeah. So, Mystic Sand. Uh, did get a, another reprint. She got it later on. And what was it that we got in exchange for the Mystic Elf? I mean, for um. Oh, she came in a gold series. Yeah, they bring her in the gold series. So that, um, our ghost from the past. I have a Mystic Sand, I think. If I don't, I just don't. But I remember she did get. Hold on, wait a minute. We can check right now, man. So we can, I have internet. Excuse me, I'm stuck my frame rate. I don't care about being. Okay. Hold on, we can figure that out right now. Cause I bet TCG player. Is her name Miss Pickle Fan? Okay. Uh, she has been planted. Oh, and it's it's loading. It's probably taking a sweet time. There we go. So Ghost from the Past, and she's also an Astro Pack one. So uh, yeah, she did get two prints, one ultra and one common. Her common is more expensive than her ultra, because the common was the first release here in the TCG um, in Astro Pack 1. Uh, but then in Ash then in Ghost from the Past, the second haunt, uh, where she got her reprint, and it made it a lot easier to obtain Mystic Stan, uh, which I do believe I have copies of those. All right. And then following Mystic Sand, if we scroll down, our scroll over is Goddess with a Third Eye, level 4, light attribute fairy type monster with uh, 1200 attack, 1000 defense. Effect, you can substitute this for one, for any one fusion material, you cannot substitute for any other fusion material in the current fusion. So, fusion substitutes. Is what Goddess with the Third Eye is. Although, yes, she looks like a light, very a counterpart to Witch of the Black Forest, which she is. Um, she just doesn't do it in effect. Uh, Goddess with the Third Eye is basically able to substitute herself for any fusion material that she would need to use for a fusion summon. Um, so, the thing about fusion substitutes is this. You can always use them for a fusion summon of a monster. However, it can only be used for a monster with a fusion monster's material that has a name, not a particular class. So say for instance, if I were to summon Black Skull Dragon, I can use Goddess with a third eye as long as one of the other material is present, which is either Red Eyes Black Dragon or something like Skull. Then she will treat herself as the other monster that isn't in the fusion. Such as Summon Skull or Red Eyes Black Dragon. And then be able to be sent to the graveyard 
from the sent to the grave from the field art of hand for the fusion summit. Um, there are a lot of really cool fusion support cards that come out later on. Um, be, uh, King of the Swamp, which allows you to discard him to add polarization from your deck to your hand. And if he's in your hand, you can use him to substitute for a fusion material of a fusion summon monster. Um, crazy thing is that when uh, this applies to hero monsters later on in the, series, in the game, um, heroes have special requirements. More so the Omni heroes, where Escadaro, The Shining, Elemental Hero, Absolute Zero, um, Elemental Hero, Nova Master, Elemental Hero, uh, Tempest, and Elemental Hero, Gaia. Those monsters say one hero monster in one monster particular attribute. Because of this, you're gonna have to be very careful because unfortunately you can't use guys with a third eye for any of those fusion summons because she can't be treated as a monster of a different class or a different attribute. Um, and that's the thing. She could be used for the elemental hero the shining, but she'll still need a hero monster present for her. But more so particularly elemental hero, because they all belong to Jaden. The only exception is Absolute Zero, because Absolute Zero says you can use any hero monster. So anyone that's elemental, evil, um, destiny, or yeah, elemental, oh, vision hero, elemental hero, destiny hero, mask hero. Yeah, there's a lot of heroes and we just don't have time to go over it all with them. But we'll see them eventually. And then the last card is Fusion Sage, which is uh, search your deck for one polarization and add it to your hand. Go for your deck after. Yeah, this is your a quick way to search for polarization. Let's keep this going. Oh, it's a uh, tournament day. Damn, I've already been through that many duels. Okay, and our opponent is. Oh, it's Rex. All right. Well, we take on Rex after. Oh, and our new deck too. Well, let's see what we can do. Uh, oh, nothing really. All right, well, I'm not gonna waste my trap phone. Recodine! Ahaha! Starbase Jar! All right, Wasteland. Magician of Faith. Uh, Crawling Dragon number two. The Graceful Charity. The Mirror Force. I be better than Esther. Uh, we're gonna set Sangin in defense. We're gonna put Genzo to the hand, Harpy Lady Sisters to the hand, Harpy Lady, we're gonna put her in defense. Um, fuck, I should have put. No, if I had put Sang in attack mode, he would have just won at the Harpy. Anyway. Because so they do that. I think I mentioned it before. Yeah, my opponents don't like Harpy. And they will attack Harpy Lady as fast as possible. Uh, Mystical Day Typhoon and Miracle. Um. I know that's Magician of Fate. What spells are in his deck? Break it up. Oh, just MST. I'll flick Sangan. And I'll summon. Okay. Full tribute. Or Sangan. And we'll go get. Well, I can have a hero number two. Or number one. Then we will attack. We sit with some all to destroy. Oh, I should do. Well, I think he would have got back his MST. Which reminds me, we're gonna set MST. We're gonna set this. We're gonna set this. And an archer. Heavy stuff. I didn't see that kind of. Graceful charity. Wasteland. Alright, Rock, Zombie, and Dinosaur Monsters have now had their attack and defense increased by 200. Change of Heart. Flip, Magician of Faith. Change of Heart. Change of Heart. Giant Soldier is stuck. Okay. World Tribute. 
Okay. We'll split Virginza, we'll split Giant Soldier. And battle for Giant Soldier of Stone attack. Summon Skull attack. Genzo attack. And my time. And he leaves the giant soldier in attack mode, ladies and gentlemen. He leaves his monster in attack. Colors of revealing light. Oh, giant rat. Uh, wine commentary number one. Skull attacks the giant soldier. Game. Okay. And Rex chooses to go first. I'll play Rising Air Current and summon Flying Kamakuri number one. Now let's hack. You are me. Right, get you. Fear our B. Mm -hmm. Are there any wind dinosaurs? Oh yeah, there are, but just not yet. A Chute scale. Dune's Dark Witch. Okay, I'll see this one. Okay, Dune's Dark Witch will attack. Uh, fun fact, no, Mai does not have Dune's Dark Witch in her deck. Uh, I wish she did. She does have it in the anime. Oh shit, sorry. And later games do put it in the deck as well for her. Um, up, I think, until late, later games where they give her more big beast and more heart control. Fuck, really? I say, like, don't trigger my last third. We really fuck that. Uh, let's prima. Get flying time and cure. We're gonna distribute it in it. And play skull. Now we have two high level monsters on the at Rex. Magician of Faith. Oh, where should I get you? So you guys, we don't have any monsters in the moon that I get yet. And those monsters are gonna come way later. Right, get you. Wait, oh, putting heavy fire dragon. I got fresh man in. A pot of three. I, don't know. I mean, he's gonna kill it anyway, but I don't know. Gonna... Okay, thank God he didn't. Holy crap. Oh, it's Pyro. I thought it would be crap. Uh, I forgot it's not. Yeah, I read this because it has dragon in the class and make it a dragon. Rex is not even drawn in the He might just be drawn himself in the past. I guess we're going to be game 3.
Harpy lady, harpy lady. When had a king rat? Oh, this monster does have an upgraded form, by the way. Um, also, oh, two headed. Okay. Twin headed king rat. What is this called? Megalosaur. Yeah, that gets an upgrade too. Um, it's a fusion monster. There are one high, one level five or higher uh, dinosaur type monster, and then one dinosaur monster. MST. Yeah, dinosaurs are getting a lot of support coming. Uh, Wild Survivor is the most that if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Like this. Activate our Genki. Um, Harpy Lady. I put her with black. Uh -oh. ah. Let's finish it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, change of heart. Go for it. Megasaur. Uh, Apple Force. Prima. Harpy Lady. Uh, Mega Sour. Any turn to the left? Chair. Nope, gonna stop it right now. Throw the light. Magician of Faith. Mystic Tomato. Tomato. RP Lady for game. Right, and that's how you do it. Please move pack open. Uh, Invader from another dimension, level 4, Dark Action Team type monster. Nice 50 attack and 1400 defense. An extraterrestrial monster that came from a distant sky. It's like the fact that this thing looks like an insect. They made it a fiend. Uh, Marine Beast. Required a uh, level 5. Or should be fish type fusion monster. Uh, 1700 attack, 1600 defense. Requires one water magician and one he guard. Uh, this monster has another counterpart called Rare Fish, where literally it's just facing the direction. Its mane is red, fish tail is blue. Basic polar opposites. This one the one hundred one level higher. They're the same type of attribute, but I think the attack and defense is also uh hundred high. Uh Croco Gullets, level four. Water attribute reptile monster, eleven hundred attack, twelve hundred defense. A gross crocodile with a with, oh, great intelligence. Kyrie Sheen, level 5, water action, sea serpent type monster, 1800 attack, 1500 defense. A sea serpent known as the king of the sea. A sea dragon known as the king of the sea. 
When King of the Ocean, it attacks its enemies with a huge tidal wave. This monster gets a retrain later on in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Not to mention a ton of upgrades to it as well, including one upgrade to search for cards and specifically with Umi in its name. As well as I think there's another version of this card that also can be able to search for a Trenchant Tribute. Yeah, and then Guruji, the cover of the monster on the pack that we just oh, the cover of the pack we just put, features this monster. Guruji is a level 5 fire attribute beast warrior type monster with 1800 attack, 1500 and actually beast with the head of a dragon. Yeah, this monster is actually in Joey Wheeler's deck, funny enough, and it's one of his big star monsters. Funny enough, this monster doesn't get any retrains or anything later on. And it's just the brutes for the original game. Hey, there are new duelists in the house. Uh, verify the info using L and R. Really? Oh, oh, we got them, ladies and gentlemen. Meet the rare hunter and their leader, Mr. Merrick Ishtar. Um, I still want to go ahead and take on my, but I'll give brief introductions on each of them. Despite the fact that this is two masks in one, Luminous and Umbra, Light and Dark. Yeah, these two brothers, are. I think they're brothers. I think the game care, I think, it, no, I don't think they're brothers. I think, no, they are brothers, because the anime confirms that they're brothers. Uh, one, Lumis is the taller one with the black and red mask, while Umbra is the short one with the uh, red and white mask. In this game, because there aren't too many of those monsters that specialize in masks, or the theme around masks, uh, Lumis and Umbra just focuses on two type monsters and a lot of destruction effects um, between light and dark. Uh, in later games, they do get, of course, mass monsters. Their ace is Mass Beast Death Guardians, which, funny enough, is not in the game at the moment. Um, but yeah, that is a thing to be regular. And they actually do use a lot of cards Rogue Doll, uh, Mass of Brutality, Mass of the Curse, Mass of the Abyss, Mass of Weakness. Um, oh, yeah, there's a ton of cards these guys do. And they do get printed in later sets and stuff like Grand Secret Elder, Shining Abyss. Um, oh yeah, so many different Curse of Mass Beast, uh, which is the ritual spell to summon uh, Mass Beast. And there's Mass Beast that's Guardians, there's Mary Child the Fourth Thief. And yeah, so many more Mass. Oh, Mask of Darkness. Uh, in the Yu Gi Oh! Uh, Sacred Cards, there's a Mask. Called Mass of Shining and Darkness, and they use that card as well. You have to tribute two other monsters and have Mass of Darkness on the field, and then the Mass of Darkness becomes the Mass of the Shining and Darkness. It's a, if you guys watch my live stream playthrough of, uh, if you guys watch my live stream of, uh, you get a sacred card. I did use that monster for a while. Arcana, the Master of Dark Magician. In later games, it classifies him as Tribute, uh, because he does like to tribute off a lot of his monsters. Some of his iconic uh, setups are, of course, the infamous, what is it, um, this is monster. Oh, Malice, Doll of Demise, and Ectoplasma, where Malice, Doll of Demise effect is that at the end of the turn, no, during the next standby phase, if it was used to tribute to an effect of a card on the field, it would bring itself back. So you use it with cards like Ectoplasma. It says at the end of the turn, if you control a monster, you can tribute one. You have to tribute one monster on your side of the field, uh, and then inflict damage to your opponent equal to I believe that monster attack points. I know I don't particularly use that card, and it's rare where I use it because I don't. I don't like cards like that that force you to have to get rid of your monsters to do damage, um, unless it's like a dire situation. You use it. But uh, yeah, he's the one that basically showed off that. Otherwise, he's using his own variation of Dark Magician. In this game, he does not have his variant Dark Magician, but uh, he's using Yu-Gi's, and not to mention he's using Dark Magician Girl as well. Uh, Rare Hunter. So this guy has two names. He has Rare Hunter, and he has Seeker. So the name of Seeker is what he's known for in the manga 
as he seeks out Zulus with rare cards. He is the first of the um, rare hunters that we actually will see, and they use his name here as Rare Hunter, uh, just because the American version uh, got this game instead of the one the Japanese version got, in which they do show him off and talk about it. And show, they do show him, and basically his deck is Exodia, yeah. He specializes on trying to get to Exodia's pieces as fast as, as possible. I believe he's the only time in the game where you're actually, he's one of the rare case, one of two duels in the game, where you'll see them working to summon Exodia, but still do. And not summoning, I mean actually putting Exodia's pieces in the hand. He plays that beautiful game. Uh, it gets worse in later games, and trust me, it doesn't get any better. But, you know, you'll have restricted and limited lists. No, this guy's deck literally does still focus on trying to summon um, Exodia the Forbidden One. Dream! Uh, this was the guy that was the puppet um, for Merrick during Battle City. He's only been in a few episodes because his duel was like maybe, I think, two or three episodes long? And three episodes long. Um, Dream himself basically focuses on, well, his thing. Until the Egyptian God card became a thing, Dreams' deck is basically just high level monsters and tons of gimmicks. Um, high defensive and trying to defend his life as much as possible. Once the Egyptian God thing starts running around, he does play, you know, stuff like um, Jam Bringing Machine, Rival Jam, Jam Defender, and stuff like that. Um, in addition to that, um, God, it's really just tribute summons. It's trying to put a whole bunch of these six on the field. I believe this whole, these five here are the ones that basically use a ton of dark attribute monsters, and a lot of them use the game itself. That is strange. And then Mr. Merrick Ishtar, the holder of the Millennium Rod, and the antagonist for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, Battle City art. So, Merrick's deck in this game is not called the Winged Dragon of Ra. Actually, none of the Egyptian God cards are in Yu-Gi-Oh! Eternal Duel's Soul. Um, the Egyptian God cards don't make their card debut till Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Card. We're talking about an official card game. I don't even think the God cards made it till... Because they're not playable, uh, if I'm not mistaken. None of the Egyptian so I believe Yu Gi Oh World Championship 2008, where they're featured there, but they can't be played. And then, oh no, no, I take that back. They are playable. Yu Gi Oh, the, um, Yu Gi Oh, uh, uh, Nightmare Troubadour, they're, uh, they're in the game. But because they're restricted to forbidden, you can only use one of the particular cards because the actual cards themselves have not been printed. They don't get printed till 2010, 2011, and even then, those cards have a ton of restrictions. Well, the, uh, the Egyptian gods get tons of so you don't have to worry about it playing the Egyptian god deck. Don't worry, the Egyptian gods get the monsters and spells and traps and stuff to shit. But for Merrick here, he's playing low level monsters with a lot of sneaky effects. Talking Man Eater Bug, um, he likes hand destruction cards too. He likes Muka Muka, he plays White Magical Hat. Um, in later games, he started playing Gravity Bond, uh, Messenger of Peace. He loves a lot of Stall Out, he likes a little Burn. Yeah, he loves a lot of that. So, yeah, that is Mr. Merrick Ishtar. Um, before we even get to Merrick, we're gonna finish off here too. My. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, this is something that rarely happens in the game. If you select any ran any duelist at random, they can challenge you to a match. Um, duels are starting to lose their value, their novel for you. Let's try a match duel instead. So my is challenging us to a match duel. The player who gets two wins, uh, the player yeah, the player who gets two gets two wins wins first. The first to win. Questions? No. Um, I do believe yeah. So every duelist in the game has a chance of, of doing this for you. 
uh, that you have the opportunity to well, do them and get a match to them instead of having to wait till the weekend to do a random, to have all of them be a random. Uh, with that said, I don't think there's any other, oh, there is one other conclusion. My kids play for six, they will, they will play particular field spells um, as well. I believe, is this Mountain? No, it's Shogun. I thought she would have played Mountain. Uh, there's also the time when we do have the match duel. The duelists will play a particular field spell in place. Um, I believe everyone will have to play it. I'm shocked she's playing Shogun because Shogun isn't a field spell for any monsters in her deck. Except for like three. And she doesn't run that many of them. Uh, Shogun, field spell. Increase the attack and defense of all Beast Warrior and Warrior type monsters by 200. Here's the thing, there's only two Warrior monsters to play in a deck. That's kind of the Sword Mistress and the Invader of the Throne. Mountain would have been a better choice. Well, at least for not to be Rise of Erica, but I guess this gives me an excuse to waste this, uh, MST. By the way, Field Spells change the background of the dual edge. Um, they're a lot cooler looking in video Dual Expert 1. Um, which I did play for the channel just to bitch it off Japanese. It's basically the precursor, it's basically their equivalent to our game, which is, um, video Eternal Dual as well. Uh, I'm gonna get uh, that magic. I gave her heart to start it up. Oops, that's good. Hi, Harpy's brother, aka this guy's self. Oh, excuse me, don't worry, he's in our deck, so we'll see him. Sky Scout is a level 4 wind as winged beast type monster with 18 hairs of attack and 500 distance. And I forgot to play for him. So, yeah, if you guys ever want to know the sound type non Harpy monster, uh, yeah, here's, here's, here he is. Oh, 600 defense. Uh, with eyes like a hawk in a flying speed exceeding max mark five, max five. Uh, this monster is the master of the town. The harpy's brother in the OCG is named Birdman. Because of his connotation of his name, uh, they had to change it in TCG. It wasn't a word translation error, no. Oops. Let's cut this bullshit. Birdman is made is owned by Warner Brother in order for them to have for Warner Brother to even consider giving anime its shot for Yu-Gi-Oh, they wanted them to change the name of this of a lot of, they wanted them to change a lot of things. Mainly once they got under four kids, four kids changed a lot of stuff. But uh, his name of Harpy Brother is only because he shares the same attribute type and level with Harpy. That's it. All the cards up until Astro Pack 2 had him as Harpy's brother. Has excluded him from the archetype support card. So he couldn't be used with Harpy's pet baby dragon. I believe there was word that he that Harpy's pet phantasmal dragon, Harpy Channeler, Hysteric Sign were all gonna exclude him as well. Harpy's Honey Girl does not exclude him because he's not Harpy. Alina Yutis does not include him because he's not a hard boy either. So as you can tell, yeah, what ended up happening to this monster? Well, his name got changed in Astro Pack 2 to Sky Scout, where he is now a just a regular vanilla monster from an old school pack. Uh, the 25th anniversary uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, reprint. Yeah, for I believe it's Pharaoh Serving and when he's in peace. He is no longer Harpy's brother, he has his name changed to Sky Scout. Yeah, all the 25th anniversary stuff changed everyone's names and uh, updated their text and artwork as well. Uh, Rarity is still the same, so yeah, good luck. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna summon the Harpy Lady. I have a trap full face now, and I'm gonna win my. So yeah, that is Sky Scout for you guys. Right, Gekki? Wow. Come on. Harpy Lady! I'm counting your destruction if I believe with my destruction of Harpy. 
And damn, I wish I had waited, because I just could have played all you needed. But I mean, she has me another hard play. Yeah, like I said, oh, so that show game only works, actually. That show game only works with how the Sonic made, but she's a warrior or Oh, that's ever job. Oh, there is one thing I do want to note to you guys. Be careful. If my pets monsters, they'll have two monsters who will randomly set. One of them is the Invader of the Throne, which, um, when Flick take control of one of your opponent's monsters, as long as this monster remains face up on the field, then monster remains in the air control. The other is a Morphin Jar. Oh, thinking of Invader of the Throne, maybe? Yeah, the other monster is a Morphin Jar. Um, which I think is just a panda structure? I don't know why she put in working guard her deck. I really don't. I think if I had to include to maybe something in Dark Blue Stories where my clones a lot of those monsters to help counteract some things that her monsters would have had an issue. So that's Magic Jammer. I'm going to do this. I'm not going to summon another monster. I'm going to enter battle phase, and I'm going to attack the invader of the throne. The reason for doing this is this. Yeah, invader of the throne still has to be on the board in order for her to steal a monster. Which, by the way, let's read her. Uh, just for you guys to be a cat with her. Invader of the throne, level 4. Earth has to be a warrior type monster. 1350 attack, so you can use the thing. that flip. Select one of the opponent's monsters and switch control of it with this card. This effect cannot activate during the battle phase. Okay, so yeah, it's an effect that only works during the main phase. But, yeah, it's an effect to basically make sure that she can get one of your monsters without having any trouble. I understand. So I do have her Geki in my hand. So I'm gonna destroy the magic damage that's still down. Yeah, she's not gonna play it. And then play right deck because I can put it Which I believe. One of these violent is Morphin Drive. Yeah, Morphin Drive, there it is. Or Morphin Pog and the OCG version. The OCG. But yeah, it's the rare occasion where she's actually playing a non female, non win attribute monster. Because every other monster in her deck is either a female monster, wind attribute, and or a winged beast. The only exception is hard to attack. Yep. Hi, beautiful headhuntress. Yeah, she plays this too, like I said. Women. This my as well. The female bulls. Of course, she's gonna play female monster. And she's got a lot of them in her deck. Uh, Red Archery Girl, Beautiful Headhuntress. Um, she's not rocking Gemini, but I do know she has Witch of the Box in her deck. Sonic Maid. Invader of the Throne, kind of the Sword Mistress, and then all her birds. Uh, Sky Scout, Bird, uh, Sky Scout, Space Bird, Red Skull Bird, Ruling Crown, Harpy Lady, Harpy Lady Sisters, and I believe that's it. She doesn't get Bird Face. I think it's a World Championship, she doesn't. No, she, Bird Face is in her deck in, um, Nightmare Troubadour. I don't remember that. It is Nightmare Two Girl where she has a uh, first day. And then something else. Monster Reborn! Harpy Lady! And then Attack Mode! Harpy Lady! I like it. He gets hit. Harpy Lady. Yeah, because she won't start playing Harvey Lady because it's a worldwide event. And she'll actually use Harvey Lady. Not just, oh, wait, cute Harvey Lady. So we're in a clash with Harvey Brother. And then Harvey Lady's going to attack. And don't worry, she doesn't want to click the goal or She doesn't want to wait to search, though. Not bad, not bad. But the next time you won't be selected, you'll see. And that's already right. And show show me show me what hit the field. Right. Rising air curve to replace. Now this is a build curve she definitely play. 
Uh, up until her, the release of Harpy Hunting Ground by his plane rising aircraft. But you guys don't remember uh, field stuff. We face the attack of all winner team monsters by 500 to keep their defense by 4. As uh, you can see there. Uh, and she does play a lot of her Harpy as well. Uh, later on in the series, of course, she gets, you know, Harpy Pet Baby Dragon. She gets Harpy Queen, Harpy Girl, um, Harpy. Well, it's such a master tool and stuff. But those are like a different array of monsters. Um, because in Mirror, mine's not in the game. I'm trying to think what her is. Oh, Yu Gi Oh! Task Force Special. RP Task Force Special. Um, where she's in the game. And yes, she does use the new age type. She's Harpy Chandler, Harpy Dunsa, Harpy, Harpy Pet Fantastic and Dragon. So yeah, she's rocking all her Harpy monsters in that game. Um, and a full force Harpy that's in her side. Um, that's Party, Elegant Egypt, all of them. Yeah, my deck does get a nice boost in that first box. And they also pay a lot to the duel between Yuki and my is that in the, uh, what is it, Angelus Kingdom, by, um, uh, what do they do for my um, oh yeah, to pay homage to the Duel's Kingdom Park, um, uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, uh, the first, basically you have a section where you can play a deck based on Yugi's deck at the time to play different opponents that Yugi has played throughout the series. Of course, one of them is my Valentine's Harpy deck. Uh, this Harpy deck is filled to the brim with all Harpy strategies. Harpy Lady, Harpy Channeler, Dancer Queen, all of it. Uh, even to the point where let me get for my Another addition of faith and actually despair on Hana Hana. Man eater bug and stop it. Yeah. So that's nice. And I think yeah, one more duel in my Oh, I'm gonna miss my queen. Okay. But no, yeah, this is she's my favorite duelist from the original series, of course, to trade my back here. And she has one of the most amazing backstories too. Um so, they don't touch up on this, like, in the later, and, like, um, they don't touch up too much of it in the anime, because she's not, you know, a main cast, but my story is basically, I was an orphan when she was young, um, like, her parents left her a fuck ton of money, but her parents died. I think in the Yu-Gi-Oh, um, I think in the dub, they just said my parents were just extremely busy, so they were working with the daughter. Because that was their workaround at the time to say she was an orphan. But no, she was an only child. She was an orphan. And her parents had died. Um, so my, at certain ages, you know, she had to work for herself. So my actually was a really good car player. And actually was on a uh, work on a casino liner. As a uh, as a card player, um, and she used to that got into how she uh, interacted with dual monsters. And then, funny enough, John Claude, the book John Claude Van Damme video in the that he gives a sense of John Claude Van Damme. Yeah, um, he was on there. He was, uh, and she dueled him, and she beat him. Uh, in the story. Uh, he says, I'll come back to you when I, she tells him to come back to her when he's a stronger duelist. And, well, he does come back to her in Battle City. He's actually, he's actually the last duelist she faces, so she didn't get her last. So she has her located cards, I'm sorry. She has all her located cards, but he doesn't have his. He's still missing one. And he's going to duel her. Ooh, Wall of Illusion, I forgot this name. Uh, there's another female as monster my Google screen users. A uh, Wall of Illusion is a level 4 dark actually type monster. Uh, 1850 defense, 1850 defense. Effect. When this card battles an opponent's monster. But I'm gonna try to get you. 
Uh, there it is. When this, when a, when a monster attacking this card is attacked to the hand, any damage is, any damage resulting in the attack is calculated normally. So yeah, this is basically a bounce back monster. Uh, why is she using it? Well, because it's a female S type monster, so that's why. But yeah, um, yeah, there's a lot that just goes on with it. Uh, she does dual John Claw, uh, and she keeps this out of here. Uh, with me, by the way. And, um, in the duel, he tries to kidnap her to marry him. Like, it's so stupid. Like, I couldn't believe this is actually a plot for that part. I'm so glad it was a side story. But, um, after the duel, Joey, uh, he cuts free, and Joey saves her. And, uh, he's unconscious at that point, because, damn, that was a heavy fall. But he asked, you know, he asked my, why don't you love me? Why won't you be with me? I'm, I became a great boy. Like that. And she basically tells him, you see that guy over here? You'll never be on his, basically she states that, like, you'll never be on Joey's own. This is true, you'll never be on Joey's own. I'm gonna lose. Um, uh, yeah, I lost, and I don't run three though, but I lost, I mean, I lost, that was my fault, I should have played better, hey look, I read all the things here too, I've lost the game too, yes my queen, you won, yeah, oh, except for Rex. Damn, really? Damn it, Rex. Why did not beat me? Alright. One more deal with this thing. What's the thing in it with this thing? We can do it five feet later. That's because I'm not sure. Still tell you. Uh, we will search for Sinister. So we can have that spawn. Cool. Graceful charity. And we will just find out some of And we need this card too. So we can have a, a monster. Yeah. So there's a revealing light. That's me. Okay, and I'll change. Dark hole. A uh, magic gentleman. Oh shit, the one how she summons it. Harpy Tag Dragon. Level 7. When actually dragon type bosses, get out of the attacking 2500 defense. 2500 defense. Effect? Increase the attacking defense of this monster by 300 feet. Also, I'm feeling Harpy Dragon. Sadly, there's no one on this field and I'm about to roast it. You have a faithful save. Uh, what I have? Let's turn it back to Bill. So yeah, Harvey's Pet Dragon. Yeah, we're still talking about Harvey's. Harvey's Pet Dragon, the royal servant to the Harvey Archive, um, is their highest level main deck Harvey monster uh, in the game. Yeah, this is even now here um, in 2023. This monster does have a retrain, so it has at least one pocket for the main deck support card. With Harvey's Pet Dragon, Fearsome Fire Blast. Don't even have to be Harpy Pet Dragon, Fire Giga. So, uh, while sharing the same level type attribute, attack, and defense as Harpy Pet Dragon, uh, the monster itself, ironically enough, is a really good retrain. Um, it has the ability to search for yourself if you can show your house monster on the If you can show level 6 or lower, when monster on the field. While it's on the 
Oh, okay. Let me read the text correct. While this card is on the field, your opponent cannot target any level 6 or lower Harpy monster battle. You can use each of the following effects of Harpy's Pet Dragon Crystal Fire Blast once per turn. If you control a level 5 or higher Harpy, a level 5, um, a level, yeah, a level 6 or lower Wind Action Beast monster, you can sell some of this in your hand. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can set the sun in. You can send one winged wing wing type monster from your deck to the graveyard. Uh huh. You only use each effect of this dragon once per turn. But yeah, it's a way to push out RP. RP? It's a way to get a big monster on the board without having to rely on some of your utilities. That means you don't have to run a deck though. I mean, some people still run sisters like myself, just because you need gathered to affect me with sister monsters and you get dragon. But combo games may be combo games. So yeah. Um uh, an image you see here is Harpy Lady Sisters. And I don't think this image is edited. No, it's not. They're still wearing the spikes on their the spikes on the cyber harpies here still have the I mean the, the cyber shields that the cyber, these Harpy Lady Sisters are wearing. Um, they have spikes on them. Also, because in the other PCG, when they released the Harpy Lady Sisters, spikes were removed and breast size was reduced. But I guess here, because it's a pixelated background, they just decided to keep it. I know in later games they removed the spikes off the Harpy Sisters of breast. Um, and reduced Harpy Lady 1 and 2's uh, breast size. But I believe Harpy Lady 3 still has her. The other thing is, of course, my screen is just covered up as well as the do. Um, so, yeah, that's all that we tier to the list of me. And I'll open Jersey Pack on my. We have, ooh, we got a lot of stuff here. So, first off is Last Day of Witch. Um, spell card. Destroy all face of spellcaster boss in the field. This artwork is changed. For the TCG release, as the last year of which in the Earth CG, this is the Salem Witch Trials, where people who are to be the witch were hung um, or are, are drowned to death if they didn't confess they were a witch. I know, people are stupid. Don't judge me, because I have nothing to do with that. So, for the TCG release to try to make sure that none of that connotation was done, they changed Last Day of Witch by putting a green, uh, basically like this stereotypical thing about a witch. Um, they wear, they're ugly, they have various colored skin, colored hair, mainly green, um, wearing, riding on a witch's broom, and they have this giant X out in the back. It's, it's hilarious, it's comedic, but it's done for people. Needle Worm! We've already talked about this monster, but there's a deck that's called Deck Out. And they force your opponent to deck their deck out. They have a whole list of cards and effects that flip cards face up, flip cards face down. Uh, this doesn't get more prevalent until later on in the series, and I think you actually have to build a deck similar to that in order to play Yu-Gi's grandfather. Um, and Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2005. Yeah, it's one of the stipulations in that game that makes it set a Uh, Needle, Needle Ball, level 2, Dark Ashby, Healing Time Monster, uh, 750 attack, 700 defense. A fat flip, and so 1,000 points of damage to your opponent directly by paying 2,000 of your own life. This card was not Royal Decree, uh, continuous, continuous trap, as long as the card makes it to the on track cards, except this one are the yeah. If you wanted a track version of Genzo, well, you got one. So, the creature is that. Uh, this is basically the counteract to Imperial Order, which this card doesn't have to pay any large points in Genzo. And there are cards that help destroy both of these. It's called Double Snare, which it says destroy any card on the field that any continues that has the effect to negate track cards. And then we have Bohemian, level 4, Water Action Aqua Type Monster with 1350 attack, 1000 defense. A large mouth 
And with large mouth, with a large mouth and massive teeth, this is one which, but dangerous and strange season. And I believe that makes up marine. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we still have this too. Oh, okay. Just yeah, just throwing this everything. Um, but nothing we want to use. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that said, this is the end of Nico Eternal Delicious Live Stream Session Four. So we have been through four full sessions of this game. I'm not hot, but I'm very happy. Uh, so we did what we set out to do. We defeated all of the tier two duelists five times. Um, I can off screen them if I want to, just to get more cards and more points and stuff. So, um, I don't know. I might do that. If not, I'm gonna definitely just keep it where it is here. So I can, you know, keep things exciting. So the next time we come in, oh God. The next time we meet, I have to take on Merrick, his cronies. Uh, I'm not gonna enjoy it because I don't, I don't like the Red Hunter section. I don't like the Red Hunters in general. Like with the exception of Merrick, when he's not losing his fucking mind, I, that's about it. Everyone else can go like they can roll over and, and croak. Ugh, not gonna enjoy this. But with that said, uh, I think our next meetup is this weekend. Um, it might be due to stipulations. It might be early. But if not, it's fine. But uh, yeah. Oh, we'll be in May. It'll be my first stream of May. So, hell yeah. Um, with that said, guys, that is the end of today's stream. It's been a long stream. Six hours. And I had to divide up the videos, too. So it should accumulate to at least 6 hours and... Uh, 20... 6 hours and 32 minutes. Because one of them, I was legitimately had to end and then do the live stream for, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. So, that probably cut itself. But with that said and done, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of Yu-Gi-Oh! Eternal Guild of Soul live stream session 4 with your host, RP Player Joe. Before I go, of course, I want to leave you guys with all of the links to anything that accumulates with me. So, if you guys would like to watch my main content, uh, this is my link to the U my YouTube channel, um, RP Player Joe. So if you guys want to catch my main channel and all the things that I do on there, uh, definitely check that, uh, click on that link. There are links in the bottom too that sends you to these things, but I like to do this for the end of my streams because why not? Then, if you guys like to watch the archive channel, uh, here is exclamation point archive. And you can follow the archives of previous streams, such as Yu Gi Oh!, Crash, Pokemon, and much more. Then, uh, here is my Instagram for the, ch for the channel where you can interact with me, um, as well as Twitter and uh even discord if you guys want to join in discord funnies which i don't have too many discord funnies but yeah and anybody wants to join my discord you're more than welcome to it's called harpy's hpj's gaming ground yeah it's a play on harpy's hunting ground okay um which i actually want to switch the name too and just call it harpy's gaming ground okay hg hgg well, i had a ring to it hgg um, and then if you guys are a Harpy player and you guys would like to join other Harpy players in the fun, uh, here's a link to the Harpy's Dex and Facebook, Dex and Strategies group for all the amazing Harpy players who want some help and support. Um, because we don't have a lot of that from other groups. So, I want to offer it to those who don't have it. I know there's another Harpies group, but we don't talk about that group. We talk about my group. My group. Alright, so with that said and done, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end the night off here. Thank you guys so much for coming. I really do appreciate it. Tomorrow will be a shorter stream because we're only playing Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel, thank you. And we'll be playing some more Yu Gi Oh! Eternal Duel with Soul. Unless I want to switch over to another game. Which I don't think I have any plans to. There's a ton of like GBA games I still have left. I have 
already have comedy. So we might start one of them next week. Um, if I choose to. Also, um, Pokemon players, to let you know, you still have until the end of tomorrow, I think 9 Eastern Standard Time, to battle Intillion from Generation 8 in raid battles. If you have not done any of your raid preparations, please do that now, because I sure am. Um, and go take on Intillion, so you can get you a snubble, a, a slobble, or slobble? I forget what his, his, um, his, his basic form. Okay, it reconnected? Thing was disconnected and attempting to reconnect. Give it a few seconds. Well, for those who are on YouTube, you don't have to deal with that because this is pre this is being recorded. So, yay! Um, it might have just been Twitch having Twitch problems. But with that said and done, ladies and gentlemen, um, go out there and get you some Antillians. Uh, May first, the um, the return of Iron Leaves and Walking Drake. Our Walking Wake come back. So yeah, if you want the prehistoric variant of um, Crystal's mascot and a legendary from Generation Two, uh, Suicune, you have the chance to get that, and you also have a chance to get Generation 5's Musketeer legendary uh, Verizian in its futuristic form, the Iron Leaves. Um, uh, Wake will, I believe, be pure water type, but will have ways to counter grass and flying, while um, Iron Iron Leaves will not, will be Psychic type in Terra type, but will have ways to counter its weaknesses for Psychic. But yeah, with that said and done, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's live stream. I won't be rating anyone, this is extremely late, and I think the only other person would be Proton John. And after what situations happened last time, uh, I'm not going to be running around trying to do all of that. Uh, yeah, for reasons that I've already mentioned. So, alright everybody, HPJ, signing out. Enjoy the rest of your night. Take care. Bye-bye.